Hello and welcome back to another video. So, today we are going to be designing the living room space in this plan that we were modeling in our last video. So, let's get right into it. I am planning a sunken living room space with a TV mounting wall on side and a single step to go to the other rooms. Let's see how we can make this possible. First, we have to make the walls and since we are modeling an existing project, we can just extend these walls too. As you can see here, the walls are up to the current floor level but we are designing a sunken floor design so, we need to make a new level and extend these walls downward. I am going for a 40 cm lower floor level for this design. With that done, let's make the floor at this new level and extend the wall downwards. Now with the walls and floors done, let's make the small steps to climb out of this sunken floor. The step can be made using the extrusion tool. I am making a 90 cm wide and 20 cm high step for this. With the step done, let's make the TV mountable shelf. I am going for a wooden wall slats background with a separate board for mounting the TV and a long cabinet below it. Let's see how we can make that. The cabinet is a simple rectangular extrusion with some voids to create separations in the cabinet. To make the wooden wall slats, I am using the storefront curtain wall in the architectural wall section as I did in my previous videos. The separate TV mounting board is just an extrusion too.
I have also provided a strip light too around the board which is just a rectangular extrusion with light as physical asset assigned to it. And with that, the TV mountable shelf is over. Now all we need is a ceiling and some lights and curtains and we are good to go to D5 render. Now we need to make some designs to the ceiling too to make it look good. It is easy because we just consider the ceiling as just another plane that we can use the extrusion tool to make models on it. All you need to do is adjust your view to make those models. Now we are going to use the sweep tool to make some designs to the inner edge of the ceiling. Well, with that done, we can add some lights and we are done with Revit. With the light in place and with some additional final touches too, our Revit model is done. Now let's jump into D5 Render. As I always say, this is where the magic happens. So let's apply the materials, add the furnitures and make this place lively.
With some of the materials added, it was time to search for our furnitures. It is a bit tedious process because we have to get the right fit and form for this space and there is a huge library to choose from so let's see how we can manage that. After a long search, I was able to get some perfect furniture so all it takes is some time and some arrangements but it is no big deal. with some more final touches here and there, and we will be good to go. So that's it, we just need to unhide a few things like the TV which was hidden to reduce the load on my system. So, let's see the final results now. Hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next.